Hey, it's Matt. In this video, I want to talk about my top books coming out for December the 6th. And before we get started, if you're one of those people that thinks the MCU is dying, give this video a like and subscribe and comment down below. And the first book on our list is going to be X-Men number 29. Now, this is the first team appearance of Dr. Doom's Team of Mutants. Doom's X-Men, that's right. Dr. Doom has his very own team of Latvian mutants loyal to the benevolent leader that keeps their country safe. And they make their spectacular debut in this issue. The X-Men may be in the midst of a fall, but they're not letting Doom's personal squad take their title without a fight. So a really spectacular regular cover. You got Doom front and center near the top there, Wolverine, several other mutants fighting each other. And let's head over to League of Comic Geeks. And we have six, seven, eight different variants here. I see two with Storm, two with a hot version of Rogue. Thank you, David Nakayama. And you have a Wolverine cover variant, which I love. And then a Peach Momoko Nightmare variant. So definitely some awesome covers for this book here. But I think I prefer the regular cover, cover A. That's going to be my pick of the week for this book. If you're considering X-Men number 29. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe and comment down below. It really helps the channel. And the second book on our list is going to be Shazam number six. Now, this is the first appearance of Shazam Might, the cousin of Bat Might. Meet Shazam Might, meet the captain, reaches its action-packed finale when Billy is forced to battle the very six gods who give him his magic abilities. A fight he can't possibly hope to win. Once the dust settles, who will possess the power of Shazam? Plus, the interdimensional imp Bat Might has come to Fawcett City and he's brought his cousin with him, the captain's biggest fan, Shazam Might. Then flee in terror before the entire city turns upside down. And let's head over to the League of Comic Geeks. And there are four different covers for this issue. Shazam 6 coming out for December the 6th. We got a John Timms cardstock variant, a Samney variant, and a couple others. Nothing that's hinting of this new character Shazam might. So if you're specking on this book for the week of December the 6th, I would definitely stick with the original cover, the regular cover, cover A. And the third and final book I'm going to recommend is Titans Beast World Tour Metropolis number one. Now, this is an event tie-in issue, and in this book, Power Girl is going to become Flamebird. The battle with Starro reverberates across Metropolis. As the ramifications of the Titans' battle with Starro reverberate across the globe, Metropolis is hit with an unexpected surge of electricity from... Is that... No, it can't be Livewire, but she's a... Okay, you're going to have to read this one to believe it. Meanwhile, Supergirl and Dreamer take on the terror of the Flamebird. Power Girl is no longer, and amid the chaos, a threat continues to grow on the horizon. All signs point to a new major shift in the world of Superman in the Beast World Tour Metropolis. So Power Girl becomes Flamebird, and we definitely have what appears to be Power Girl and Flamebird battling on this original cover. Let's take a look at the variant covers, only two of them. And the one I think I prefer is this Clayton Henry cardstock variant. Definitely has Flamebird on the cover here, but if you're specking on this book for this appearance, this new kind of change with Power Girl, I would definitely stick with the original cover, cover A. And before we go to our long box book of the week, let's go to my two honorable mention books for the week of December the 6th. A couple books I'm looking at, but didn't quite make the list for the ones I'm definitely gonna pull. And the first book I wanna mention is The Century Number One. Now this is a four issue limited series that may introduce a new century from various people who are manifesting the dead hero's powers. And the second honorable mention book is gonna be Thunderbolts Number One. Now in this book, Bucky Barnes, AKA The Revolution, leads a new Thunderbolts team. I love Bucky Barnes, I love the Winter Soldier, so he's front and center on this cover, so make sure you definitely check this book out for the week of December the 6th, Thunderbolts number one. And before we go to our pick of the week, let's go to our long box book, something I think you might be able to find in the back issue somewhere, maybe in a comic book store. And the first book I wanna mention is Marvel Team Up 141. Now this is the second appearance of Spider-Man's black costume, also tied with Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man number 90. But this book here, Marvel Team Up 141. Now, according to most sources, The Amazing Spider-Man 252, that's that Amazing Fantasy 15 homage cover. That went on sale approximately January 31st. However, this book here, Marvel Team Up 141, and The Spectacular Spider-Man number 90, which I'm going to get into in a little bit, those both went on sale February 14th, so after The Amazing Spider-Man 252. 
And Marvel Team Up 141 is definitely an affordable key issue. And let's head over to GPA and take a look at some of the recent sales. CGC 9.8, November of this year, 2023, sold for $580. And even though this is a 1984 book where the direct editions are probably a little bit more on the harder to find side than the newsstand, if you've watched our videos, you know, I'm gonna recommend that you always pick up newsstand copies over the direct editions, regardless of the year, what the statistics say, because the comic market just prefers those newsstand copies and this book is no exception let's take a look at the cgc 9.8 newsstand edition last recent sale november of 2023 950 dollars so definitely more expensive we're almost 50 percent more than the direct edition and let's go to a more affordable copy a cgc 7.5 as of September of 2023, recent sale of $76 and the newsstand counterpart in that grade 7.5, $47. So kind of interesting there, a little bit opposite of what we would expect, but nonetheless, great affordable issue in this grade. I mean, you're looking at 50 to $75 to get this awesome key. Make sure you check this one out, Marvel Team Up 141. And the second long box book I wanna talk about is Peter Parker, The Spectacular Spider-Man number 90. Now, as I mentioned before, this one is also the second appearance of Spider-Man's black costume, and it came out very similar time that Marvel Team Up 141 came. So multiple sources that I've looked at, they consider these two books a tie for the second appearance of the black suit. And let's head over to GPA and take a look at the prices for the Spectacular Spider-Man number 90, and a 9.8 is gonna cost you about $300 as of November of this year. So definitely a lot more affordable than the Marvel Team Up book, about half the price. However, let's take a look at the newsstand copy in a 9.8. Interesting, last sale, November 2023, $835. So definitely closer to that Marvel Team Up book. But I wanna say the difference in price in the direct edition book, I think that has to do with the cover. You know, on this book here, Spider-Man in the black suit, he's kind of featured on the cover. He's in the logo in the upper corner. However, on Marvel Team Up 141, the black suit Spidey, he's front and center, web slinging towards you. It's a great cover. And in my opinion, a much better cover than the spectacular Spider-Man number 90. Once again, let's go to a more affordable grade, CGC 7.5. Let's look at GPA again. Most recent sale of 2023 was $35 in the direct edition copy. And let's take a look at the 7.5 newsstand copy. $59 as of June of 2023. So definitely, you know, they're favoring that newsstand copy just a little bit here, but we're still talking about super affordable copies, super affordable book. I mean, it's almost hard to get a graded book much cheaper than that. If you send a book to CGC, CBCS, the grading alone is going to cost you at least $30, $40 plus shipping. So great value here in the 7.5 grade. So once again, make sure you check out these two books in your long boxes, comic book stores, maybe a flea market, The Spectacular Spider-Man number 90 and Marvel Team Up 141. They're both a tie for the second appearance of the black suit Spider-Man. However, I do favor Marvel Team Up 141. It seems like the comic book market favors that one as well, obviously because I think it's a much better cover. You have Spider-Man front and center, you know, those awesome purples and reds on the cover, whereas The Spectacular Spider-Man number 90, a little bit more of a washed out cover, black cats front and center. Center. not quite the attention grab that Marvel Team Up 141 is. So make sure you check out for these two books in the long boxes in your comic book stores. And my pick of the week for December the 6th has gotta be X-Men 29. You have this awesome Doom cover A, you know, he's big on the cover and his first appearance of Dr. Doom's Team of Mutants. So I'm definitely interested to get my hands on this book, read this book. You got several awesome different covers featuring a lot of different mutants. So make sure you check this book out for the week, X-Men number 29. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and comment down below. It really does help the channel. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you next week.